All right, let's move on to number nine. All right, number nine. Two more to go, nine and 10. Number nine, how to create a video. And video is huge. It's really more important now than ever. And it's, in many cases, replaced photos. So um, it would be remiss if we didn't allow you to create video with Express. So you don't have to be a professional video editor. You don't even have to be a professional video person at all. You don't have to understand the lingo. We kind of saw a little bit of that with the animation. Let's go ahead and, and drive it home now with uh, creating the video from scratch. Yes, I'm actually gonna do it from scratch. Yes, there are templates. So you don't know how to do it from scratch. You can do it with a template. But I'm gonna go ahead and say create a TikTok video from scratch. And just like that, it just gives me a timeline with nothing on it. Now you can bring in anything you want, including your own video. If you have a video you shot with your phone or with your camera or whatever video device you used, you would upload that video right now and start editing and playing with it. I'm going to, since it just I'm going to give you kind of the same way that we do things here, I'm just going to create a... Uh, now let's do yard party. We did that in the last example. Let's do it again. Yard party. And this is giving me, I'm searching for videos under the media tab and it's giving me different videos to work with. All right. Now I notice a lot of these videos are in, um, they are in, what do I want to say? Uh, landscape orientation. And that's fine. Even if you shot a video landscape and you want to use it, you can. So let's say that we want to use this one, this group of people. We can uh, fill the video with that. So we can say, make that video take up the whole screen. Now, of course, you will have parts of the video cropped off because it is a wide video and you're trying to make it tall. But I just want to show you, you do have that option. And you can move it around so you can say, hey, those people are more important than the other people. So we want to see those people in the frame. So that way you kind of get the same thing. All right, so now that we got our video in, and again, it could be a video you shot. It could be, a, obviously, you'd shoot it vertical if you wanted it to be vertical, I would hope. But even if you didn't, you get the option to do that. Next up, I want to then go ahead and create a scene. So what's a scene? A scene is when you want to add an additional video, text, or image. So when I click scene, so we have our first one and our first one, by the way, is looks like it's around eight seconds, 8.8 .8 seconds. We can trim it. We can say, no, I, don't, I want that video to be that long. I want that video only to be the first, but maybe five seconds. All right. So now that video is only five seconds long. So we just trimmed off the end of it. We can go in and add another scene. And now that scene is automatically five seconds since the first one was five seconds. And in this scene, we can put something totally different. So we can say, um, let's see if we get vertical video. I just, want, I just want to type vertical video and see what happens. Yeah, I can start getting vertical videos. So you can go find a vertical video that is more appropriate for what you're doing. So we want to do, um, actually, I kind of like the beach one. So we'll, we'll drop the beach in just for the sake of dropping a beach in. And again, that one looks like it's about 18 seconds. Now, even though the scene was five seconds, the video itself is longer. So we can trim the video back and maybe make that video shorter to what we want. So now we're going to have that video play for five seconds. And then we're going to drop, jump to the next video. And that video is going to play for 2.1 seconds. And we can add another scene. Keep adding as many scenes as you want to have as many things as you want. So I like the dog playing. So we have a vertical video of a dog playing. Of course, again, you'd be using your own videos that make sense when they're grouped together. Now, let's say I want the dog playing first. I can pick it up and move it around. This is video editing, being able to reshuffle and reorganize your videos the way you want. So now the video of the dogs playing first, maybe I want the beach first or the, the, yeah, the shoreline first. So now the shoreline plays first for a couple seconds, then the dog, and then the party. So you get the idea. You can edit to your heart's content. Now let's say we want to go in and we want to kind of make maybe do some other things. We want to add in some text. And we want now these are all text styles, different examples you can create. 
but you can just simply add in generic text and we can say join us this summer and I'm gonna go ahead and select that text get out of the text itself actually go into select there we go select it as an image or a graphic I mean we can go in and we can make this text uh, let's make it fill it with a color that shows up white shows up better in this case we can also outline it because outlining can make things look better too that way it has a black outline around it so even on a uh, on a white background you'd still be able to see it and of course we can still make this bigger and we can move it around change the font all the other things we've already learned and keep in mind well where's that going to play it's going to play on that first clip and then not because that's the scene we added it to we can show layer timing select it and say no don't start with it give me a couple seconds or maybe a second or two with no text can I animate it sure select it go to animation and animate it in and maybe have it um, drop in so even though it's starting later it's still gonna have that animation on it drop in there we go next uh, scene so we're gonna add uh, some more add some more text for fun in the Sun all right same thing we need to be able to see it it's kind of a dark background so let's go in actually let's get out of it that way there we go select it that way select it so we can see it fun of the Sun and you know you change the font change the size orientation layout know, alignment all the things you want but now that one plays and it just does this join us for this summer for fun in the Sun and we can then, then go in and add one more text. Pam's yard party. Same thing. Select it as a as a element. Change it so we can see it. Put it where we want it to be. And maybe animate that in as well. And we'll have that one grow. All right, so this would be our disconjointed video uh, with three elements that have nothing to do with each other, but there they are because we can edit a video here at Express. Now, people always ask, do you have transitions? Yes, there are a few transitions here. The plus signs between each scene where you can add transitions. So you can add a transition or a scene. And we can add maybe a dissolve here and then maybe a push We'll add a push on that one. There we go. There we go. Cool. So let's play that. I hit the space bar to play, which is pretty generic in social media or in video editors. And it's still taking too long. I can just shorten that up a little bit. Shorten that scene so it's nice and quick. All right. There's our video. We've edited it completely in Adobe Express. And you would use better video options I'm sure so let's say you, you kind of like maybe select the video and you just don't like it so you can hit replace and you can upload a new video from your device or you can say um, party let's just see if it will work with if I say party vertical video yeah so you can specify a vertical video for your subject all right yeah, so now I'll replace it with that one because that's a better one. And it, it kept it to the scene. It kept my text. And it still did everything the way it's supposed to, even though that video is much longer. We can see it when we select that video, how long that video is. But it's okay. We're not seeing all of it because we told it just to be a part of that scene. So join us this summer for fun in the sun. Or now we can change the text. Not in the sun, but it's fun at night because <laughs> it's a night scene now. And I, I'm just doing all of this instinctively because it's literally that easy. 
making changes, adding clips, adding transitions, add, you know, editing, trimming it down, and making it, what, making it your own. Add as many scenes as you want. Make the video as long as you need it to be. And then when you're all done, and oh, before I forget, because people ask this and I almost forgot. Well, this will be a silent video. Can I add audio? Yes, you can. So if we go to media, there's an audio tab. And you can record your own voiceover. You can talk through the whole thing and have it be your voice under the whole thing. Or you can upload your own music clip if you have, or use one of the um, built-in ones. I don't know if you'll be able to hear that or not, but I can go ahead and drop that one in and it makes it automatically the right size for this whole video. And that was just the first one in the list, but you can scroll through, find the acoustic or background or music track you want. And you can still add a voiceover that plays over the music and just make it what you need it to be because you can control the volume. So I can drop the volume of the music down while I talk, so forth and so on. Let's say there's a clip you want to split because you want to add in something else. I just right click and I hit split. So that split the scene right at that mark so that I can maybe add another scene and put it in between. So maybe I want to show another clip in between. Oops, I want to show another clip in between those two videos now that I just did. So let's just again, party vertical, vertical video. And we'll, yeah, we'll add the DJ there. Okay, so great. So now it's that. Yeah, so we just split it. And it just splits it right where you right where you had the playhead and you right clicked so that you can put something in between a video that's longer than, you know, you don't want to play the whole thing without putting something in between. All right, when you're done, just hit download and download that video as an MP4 to your device and then share it any way you want.